Hey, what's up guys? It's Spectrum back here with a brand new video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Series Goku Black. So, let's get right into it. We got Dragon Ball Super Spot Varnish right up here. Got Dragon Star Series along the bottom along with Goku Black right there. Got Dragon Ball Super Spot Varnish on the side. You got a Spot Varnish artwork of Goku Black along with the Dragon Ball Super logo once again. Got that same uh, thing going on along the top here. On the back, you have other figures that are available. You have the build a figure um, figures that you need to complete Super Saiyan Broly. And in terms of the Super Saiyan Broly, the leg wouldn't bend worth the damn. So, like, is it even really worth completing? I mean, I don't know, man. Um, Dragon Ball Super on the bottom again. Jeez, which series is this from, guys? That's about it for this packaging. So, without further ado, let's get him out here and see how evil he actually is. Here we have him open up and out of his packaging, and as you can see, he looks pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> by the way, I do apologize about the um, brightness and stuff. And a quick little disclaimer, if you are not 13 years old, I repeat, if you are not 13 years old, if you are 12 and under, please get off of my channel and divert to other YouTube channels who are doing reviews for kids. Because these reviews aren't for fucking children, okay? These are for people 13 years and older. Sometimes I cuss. I don't always review figures that um, kids should particularly have in their in their possession, and etc. So uh, yeah, parents, if you're watching this, please divert your children away from my channel. Thank you very much, and come back when they're 13. Let's get into this guy. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at him, because the only good thing about this guy just about amounts up to only being the sculpt. That is a really nice um, impression of Goku Black, in my personal opinion. I like that a lot. The face is very nice, very detailed, and, you know, I like the sculpt work and stuff like that. The gi is pretty nicely sculpted. You know, you got a little bit of paint scratching right there, or whatever that... Yeah, I think that's paint scratching, but whatever. You know, it's 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 not too bad. You got the red band going around, which is a separate piece all by itself, which is pretty cool as well. His arms are kind of plain looking, but, I mean, they, it, they do the job, you know. And then his legs... From here up, they look good, but, oh no, then you get to the knees, and, and they go off. It's like they shifted a little bit, and then they go straight down. Like, what's, what, what the, what is that about? Anyway, let's take a look at the back here. You got some nice sculpt work continuing on the back. Uh, got his booty. Got his stamping. Got his molding. And then you have these ugly ass knee joints right here dude just oh man we're not even getting into the, the the real bad stuff yet we will but not yet and if you couldn't already tell this uh, review is slightly uh, zoomed in to 1.2x so let me know what you guys think about that um and you know what time it is it's size comparison times commence oh there's no figure here one second here we have him next to a figure which is easily worth your money way more than the guy on the left is. Easily. This thing is a freaking masterpiece. <laughs> Here we have him next to Super Saiyan God slash Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And hell, I mean, even with this guy's, you know, tight um, elbows and tight knees, I would say that he's still worth more of your money than this guy. Like, I know it's a higher end figure and everything, but like, why would you pay 20 bucks for this when you could just save up for that guy? Here he is next to Southpaw Spider-Man. And last, but certainly not least, because why the fuck not, here he is next to the Mafex Homecoming Spider-Man. As far as accessories go, we have two extra interchangeable hands, and we have his, um, Keyblade? I'm, I, I haven't made it to Super yet, so I don't exactly know what this is. Um, but, uh, yeah, these all work the exact same way. You just pop off one of the hands. By the way, I like the way that the ring is painted on the hand. That is actually pretty nice and, uh, you know, not splotchy or anything. I will give them that. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a tight fit. And then you just pop any one of these three accessories on via the wrist peg, just like that. And that works out pretty nicely. I do like that. So that is one good thing about the figure. Um... So, yeah, there's that. And you know what comes next. Articulation times. Head to toe. Here we go. Boy, this is going to be so much fucking fun. 
<sighs> oh man, this is where we get into this shit. This is as far as his head goes. Hear that? He literally cannot look up more than that. Hell, he can't even look down. He can do side to side and that's it. He can only look down because of his neck. Shoulders cannot do 360 because of the way the gi is designed and that's fine. I, I'm fine with that. But he can get his arm up about that far, which is pretty nice. Shoulders go out that far. You got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. You got um, the SHF slash Mayfex esque wrist pegs right here. You can um, swivel them and hinge them uh, to however, however you have them configured. Um, he can crunch back that far, which is that, that's okay enough. But then when you crunch him forward, that's all we get. Are you fucking kidding me? That's some fucking bullshit, dude. But he does have some nice pivot in there. Um, okay. <laughs> this, oh, let's get into it. He can kick forward that far, but his legs swivel outward like that. Like, dude, who the fuck designed this toy, man? What the hell is wrong with people, dude? What the actual? And then, and then he has a drop-down method, which is nice if it works. That's as far as a leg goes in terms of it being straight and it's not even... Dude, what the f... Alright. You have a, a... You don't even have a thigh rotation, dude. Oh my god, who designed this toy? I just want to talk. Got a double knee bend. Wow, that's the ugliest fucking knee I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Who the f... Stop making toys. Whoever did this, just stop. You should be fired. You should seriously be fired because even... When you have it bent like this, which is the only way that it could look good, it's still super fucking ugly because it juts out so damn far. Who designed this toy, man? He can kick... He can't even kick backwards. He can't even do this... Who is he gonna kick? Dude, Spider-Man could beat this dude's ass, man. Come on. You got, um... I, I get... The feet... They only rotate. They don't do anything else. They rotate and they, they pivot a little bit. Oh my god, who designed this toy? <laughs> Final thoughts, comments, and concerns about this figure. Um, they got the blade right. Let me zoom out for this, actually. That way I can have a decent looking thumbnail. But they got the blade right. They got the, um, the aesthetics mostly right, except for where the legs have knees. Like, it, it just... Oh my god. It's like there's two pieces of clothing on his leg, man. Like... Oh. I, this is the worst figure that I've, I've, I've ever seen in my life and reviewed and... Oh, this thing is just so freaking frust... Excuse me, frustrating. The aesthetics are mostly nice, but the knees just f mess it all up for me. Um... The problems are obviously the articulation, the fact that he can't fucking bend at all is just atrocious. This is supposed to be someone who's highly flexible. Um, take note from yourselves, Bandai. This is what you should be going for, not this. This guy is amazing. But, um, yeah, that's about it for this review, guys. Final verdict is going to be a 4.5 out of 10. Straight up. I hope I never have to review anything lower than this, and I hope I never have to give a lower rating than this. I really, really do. But, I mean, hey, it's content, and I didn't have to spend 20 bucks on this figure, so yay me! I know the SHF version is expensive, but I do not recommend this figure at all unless you literally just want a Goku Black for your collection, and you do not give a crap about pose galleries or making them look good with the other figures or anything like that. Uh, or or if you're fine with this pose, like, this pose is fine, you know, it, it looks good enough. But if this is all it has to offer for $20, that's not worth it to me. I would much rather, you know, go and buy something else with your 20 bucks. But hey, that's just me personally. That's my review. Um, follow me on Instagram at spectrum.reviews. My Facebook link will be in the description below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And, uh, yeah, this is Spectrum, and I'm Merlin out, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Peace! So, let's get right into it. Here we got the packaging. Got Dragon Star Series Goku Black right here. Sorry about that glare. Let's see if the... Uh... Okay. Dragon Ball Super up top. You got that spot varnished on there. Got this spot varnished as well as on the bottom. Dragon Ball Super on the side, also spot varnished. Dragon Ball Super over here with the uh, nice artwork of Goku Black right there. <clears throat> on the back you have 
other figures that are available along voila you got the fit figures in the builder figure wave you got the builder figure broly which looks good enough but i messed around with his leg and he, his knee can't bend worth the damn so is it even worth completing um but uh yeah <laughs> All right, that's about it for the packaging. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how black he actually is. Wait, was that supposed to say that? Who cares? <laughs>